All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Dave Gates. This is a solo musician podcast, and this is my Thursday Thoughts episode for Thursday, March 21st, 2024. I'll get into my Thursday Thoughts in just a second, but first, uh, shows this weekend, I have three of them coming up. Tonight, I'm going to be at Tony Loco's in Woodbine, Maryland from 6 to 9 p.m., playing a bunch of uh, popular music and whatever people request. Um, A good spot there, built-in sound, so it's good sound all throughout the entire building. You don't have to be up close to me to hear me, so if you're anywhere you sit, you'll uh, you'll have some listening pleasure, hopefully. Tomorrow, Friday, the 22nd, I'll be at the Carlisle Moose in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Uh, if uh, you're not a member, if you're not a Moose member, it's a Moose Lodge. Uh, it's not just called the Moose. So uh, it's a Moose Lodge. And if you're not a member and you want to come, just reach out to me on Facebook. I'll get you in as a as a guest of mine. All right. Uh, and then on Sunday, the 24th, I'm going to be at Chesapeake City, Maryland at the Chesapeake Inn and Marina. I believe it's what it's called, Chesapeake Restaurant, Inn and Marina, something like that. Uh, Really awesome place there. I'm going to be there from 12 to 4 p.m. A little bit of Sunday midday fun, a little Sunday fun day, if you will. And then you'll also be able to catch me on the air Sunday night on Red 102.3. That's out of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It's a country station. Uh, I'm going to be on there after NASCAR, so probably somewhere between 7 and 9 p.m. Uh, I'll be on there doing my radio show. Uh, For anybody who's just uh, hearing about this, I have a radio job. I'm a radio DJ, and I'm doing Sunday shows right now there, as well as some ads and other promotions and those types of things. So uh, if you're into country music and and you want to hear me talk every once in a blue moon, check that out. All right. My uh, my Thursday thoughts for this week are going to be all about how much I hate people who don't do their jobs. Uh, you know, my I, I hired these bookkeepers and accountants last year to manage uh, my tax situation as, as a business owner of the landscaping business and as a business owner of the music business, um, you know, I needed somebody to kind of tell me what to do, uh, you know, as far as paying in quarterly taxes and, and making sure I was on top of everything. And, uh, they failed me horribly. Uh, you know, I had my tax appointment this week and, you know, they handed me an $8,000 bill at the end of it. And I can't tell you how frustrating that is whenever I thought that I had professionals taking care of that for me. Um, so this week has been mildly deflating uh, because, because of that. You know, I'm also having issues with my truck. And I, I've, I've told a lot of people about that story. But like Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, um, this is going to be a very local podcast. So I apologize but uh, Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, I bought a truck from them back in, I believe it was April of 2023. And they, at the time, told me that I didn't qualify for any other loan, even with my decent credit score, than one from Northwest Bank at like almost 11%. Okay. Now, I know anybody who's financing a car just went, what? 11%. Yeah, 11% on a on a $35,000 truck, which means that you pay about $300 a month in interest. Just a ballpark, right? So uh so not not only did they do that, they said that I only I qualified for that, but uh they said that my my actual bank, which I'm not going to say, uh it's a credit union, they uh had passed on the loan. At least that's what they said to me. Uh, two months later, I found out that my bank had approved the loan and at, at 4% less interest than what they had told me that I could be uh, approved for, if that makes sense. So I had to refinance my, my truck and uh, at three months after I bought it and Bob Ruth's, um, Bob Ruth's remedy to that situation was to hand me a check for the balance of the interest. 
Uh, nothing for the fact that my credit score got tanked by taking two car loans in, in the course of three months um, that I had worked so hard to build up. Uh, you know, nothing for the fact that the drive shaft in the truck went out right away. And had I not had the warranty, the extended warranty that I purchased on the truck, it would have been like $1,500 to $2,000 out of my pocket. Once again, just not being a professional, right? So this truck came in and instead of taking the time to go over the truck and make sure everything was good and, and uh, you know, taking the diligence and the time that it took to get me the best rate, right? For, for my, for my financing, instead of doing all that, they did the fastest thing possible and got me out the door with, with a truck that has been nothing but problems since. Um, so I'm just, man, I'm overwhelmed this week. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. Um, but, but this, the, the lack of people sometimes to do their job just it burns me because I try to do the best job I can at everything I do, right? Like I did a, a shrub trimming job today for the landscaping business and, uh, and it was great. Uh, the guy didn't pay that much. He said I was pretty much the cheapest quote he got. I got enough money to take care of me and take care of taxes and all that stuff. Um, and he got a good shrub trimming job. Like I did the best job I could do. His shrubs look great. Um, I'm sure his neighbors, his neighbors are going to love it, but, um, but you know, I didn't rake him over the coals. I wanted him to get the best bang for his buck. Right. And whenever I go out and play music, I do the same thing. You know, I'm trying to play the appropriate music, have the right level. So the bar makes money. You know what I mean? Like I do, I do all of these things to, to show up and, and do good. Right. And just pass that along. And I'm just so angered at the amount of people that I have relied on to, you know, just to buy a car. And I understand how dumb that is. A lot of people are probably like, man, buying used cars. It's a used car salesman. You know, he's not supposed to be awesome. I guess I was just, I was expecting him to be more than what he was. And I was expecting to buy a truck that, I, I mean, I, this thing had 80,000 miles on it when I bought it. And I paid like 34 grand for it, 35 grand. You know, I was trading in a Subaru <laughs> and my Subaru had 80,000 miles on it um, and never gave me a problem. I had that thing from 20,000 miles to 80,000 miles. I've had the truck for th under uh, about 24,000 miles and I've personally put like $5,000 into this truck so far. Uh, and then today I'm leasing, leaving my landscaping job. This is a bitch fest. I apologize. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, if you don't, you know, if, if, if you aren't vibing with this, I, I guess just, you know, turn it off, tune in on Tuesday whenever I interview Matt, but you know, I'm leaving my landscaping job today and, and I, the truck won't start. I'm like, what is happening now? So I finally get the truck to start. Seems like maybe the battery was a little low and I have no idea why that would be. Um, cause it's not, you know, it's not cold outside, but anyway, so, so I get, I get the truck onto the road finally, and it won't accelerate. So I almost get rear ended by another car that's coming up the road because my truck won't go anywhere. This truck that I bought for two times the price of my Subaru won't drive. The only function that it has to do is drive. Man, it's just, I just don't understand sometimes. It feels like I'm doing all the right things, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm putting all that good energy out into the world and it just feels right now, it feels like the world is like just kicking me around a little bit, you know, getting saddled with an $8,000 tax bill. Uh, it, it, it was just such a real shock. You know, I fired my bookkeepers immediately. Like, what were you doing last year, right? So, uh, and I think that was the appropriate response. And I mean, it's an expensive lesson, but it's a lesson. You know, if I was going to talk to Matt Jameson, which, you know, hopefully you guys tune in for that interview next week. That's going to be on Tuesday, the 26th. Um, you know, if I was to say something to Matt about all this, he would say, hey, man, you know, you learned a lesson. 
You learned a lesson, and it didn't cost you that much money, I guess, kind of. But he would say that. You know, he would say, you know, take it and move on. You know, with like when he got burned by the local music shop, taking four years to repair his Martin and doing a terrible job at it. Um, you know, it's just, I guess these are all lessons that you have to learn. I just wish people would be more professional, you know? Like, it, it's, it's not, it wasn't easy for me to make this money. Like, the money that I used to buy the truck or the money that I used to pay the accountant or, you know, the money that I make at music. Like, you know, driving forever. And then, and then just to, just to, yeah, just to dump it into taxes. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, but that's, you know, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today is just how frustrating it is um, sometimes in life whenever you're kind of getting attacked from different angles, whenever you feel like you're doing the right thing. And I guess my message that I should be telling myself is just to persevere. That This is part of life, right? It's part of life to, to get screwed around because you don't know what the other person's going through or why they, why they weren't following through the way that you would want them to at their job. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe they had some bad things going on at home or, you know, maybe there were some issues that I don't know about. Um, so I guess I could, I just need to be a little bit more understanding of their inability to perform their job. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So next week we have the CPMAs coming up too. Matt and I talked about that briefly on, on our podcast coming out on Tuesday. Um, and, uh, You know, it's going to be a good time. I'm excited to go to the CPMAs. I'm bummed that a good bit of my friends got left out, Uh, but that's okay. You know, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's, it's a, it's a, it's an award show and it's an opinion based word award show. Um, And, uh, you know, those are never going to be all inclusive, Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting there and hanging out with a lot of the guys. Uh, a lot of the scene guys that I never get to see, it's it's going to be a good time. And uh, so if you're going to be at the CPMAs next week, I'm excited to see you. Um, you know, hopefully come up and say, hey, if you're listening to the podcast, for the love of God, <laughs> please come up and be like, hey, I, uh, I've been listening to the podcast. I like it because, uh, you know, it takes some hours to do this every week and I'm driving all over the state interviewing people. So I just want to make sure that people are listening. Uh you know, at least a couple. Uh, that's all I need to keep going right now. I know that this takes time to build. Um, but if you're if you're out of the CPMAs and you want to come over and say, hey, please do. Uh, and then if you're coming out to any of the shows this weekend, I'm very excited to play. Uh, especially, you know, tonight at Tony Locos is going to be awesome. I love the Moose. I'm excited to play there. And Chesapeake City is such a good place to wrap things up on Sunday. Um, you know. It's it's two and a half hours from my house to Chesapeake City, um, so the drive is a little sucky. But once you're there, man, it's a beautiful atmosphere. They have great sushi. I'm just I'm really looking forward to that. So, uh, and if you need landscaping done and you're in the central Pennsylvania area, hit me up because I have an eight thousand dollar tax bill to pay. <laughs> so uh, d d s exteriors dot or no. I don't even know how to say it. DS Exteriors LLC.com. So DNS Exteriors LLC is the name of my company. I would love to come out. I'll even sing to you or I can record a podcast while I'm working. I'll do anything at this point. Um, shirtless. I don't care. Whatever it takes to come up with tax money so I don't get hauled off to white collar jail. <sighs> All right. That's going to do it for this week. I will catch you guys on Tuesday. Uh, on the 26th for my interview with Matt Jameson uh, or see you at the shows. Uh, And either way, I hope you have a great weekend and uh, I'll talk to you next week. See ya.